Welcome to week 8 of the DB Sport and Scale Quarter Scale SE5A build. This video is a slideshow with a voiceover of some of the pictures I took while building it. Day 50. A day of small jobs. Among the things I did was to form and fit the axle covering between the wheels. Then I improved the fit of the engine cover and put some filler on it in preparation for sanding it smooth. The next job will be to sand the fuselage and make it ready for the fabric covering. Day 51 Finally, after waiting a month and a half, I have the covering. I ordered the covering from a shop in England on the 3rd of June and paid for it via PayPal. According to the paperwork that I found in the package, the shop seems to have received the roll of fabric from J. Perkins on the 20th of June, as the park packing invoice has that date on it. When I had not heard anything about the order for a whole month, I called the shop and asked if they had a tracking number I could look up. They sent me that number the next day, and there I saw that the package had not left the shop until that day. Did that well-known shop forget to send me the package until I called them? Anyway, the package then floated around between England, the Netherlands and Germany until it finally boarded a plane to Reykjavik, Iceland, from Köln in Germany. I subsequently received it on the 17th of July. Now I could start covering. The Orotex can cover one side of the wings with some leftover for the aileron. And here is the bottom of the top right wing covered as well as the aileron. I like covering with Orotex. A small soldering iron is the best tool to make holes where they need to be. Day 52 I covered the bottom of two wing panels today. It takes quite a long time to put this covering on and a lot of Orotex. To cover one wing I had to cut two pieces of fabric that are 450 millimeters wide and 950 millimeters long. For all four f wings I will need 7,600 millimeters, close to 8 meters. That leaves 2,400 millimetres of fabric to cover the tail and the fuselage. Fortunately, some parts of the fuselage are not covered in fabric. Day 53. And the covering goes on. What is left when I had cut the fabric for the wing fits exactly on the ailerons. Here are the wing coverings ready. And here we have three wings completed and one halfway there. This took the whole morning. Day 54. Horizontal stabilizer and elevators covered in Oratex. There are parts on the center sections where covering is needed. These are places where you can use your offcuts that cannot go anywhere else. Day 55. Still covering, and now it's the fuselage. Note that the fuselage is not covered completely. The plywood is not covered in fabric. I will put some kind of lacquer on it before painting with PG-10 paint. To reinforce the areas where the fabric reaches onto the plywood, I cut 5mm strips of 0.4mm plywood and glued them on the transitions. This is some kind of lid or cover on the side of the fuselage. This was probably a place where the pilot could keep his belongings, uh, which he would not need during flight. Day 56. Now that all surfaces have got their fabric covering, the rib seams have to be made. I will not make them by sewing. I will fake them, as we do most of the time when building scale models. First, a great many strips have to be made by ripping them from the fabric. 
five millimeters wide this time. Note I ripped them, I did not cut them. Then a covering iron on low is used to fasten these strips on top of the ribs. Here is the horizontal stabilizer. Here all the control surfaces have their strips added. Strips have to be added to all the wing ribs, both the full-size ribs and riblets.